So team, uh, to install, just open this folder and run the setup. Windows installation have been always very easy. So select yes and close this. So this is what we are, if you can see here, this is installation center. You see the planning part, all requirement we discussed. And then installation is what we have to do. We have uh, data tools available. Then this is what we are going to do right now. New SQL Server standalone installation on this machine. So it will launch the installation. Because we are doing evaluation, so select this evaluation. Click on next. Accept the agreement. You don't have any choice. It will check the global rules. You want the information to be shared with the Microsoft. You can select this, else you can keep it unchecked. This is the install setup files. Scan for product update, download setup files, extract setup files, install setup files. Right now, this is the step which is going on. Download is not required because we already had it. Extracting not required because we already have done. So it is installing the setup files which is going on right now. So installation of uh, SQL Server is a comparatively easy process. Just you need to be a little careful about few steps which I will guide you and which will suggest that, okay, be careful at this point. Windows Firewall is not a problem for us. It is a warning, so we can accept it and proceed. These are features. If you want to try all of them, you can select all. Apart from Java, I deselected R and Python. And this is the difference team. This is the interesting point. If you want to run multiple instances of Microsoft SQL Server, which I have demonstrated in the past for other training, you just uh, run the installer up to this point, and then after, at this point, you need to give instance ID. So as of now, we are installing one instance and a default instance, because in our training program, we don't have multiple instances. But if you want to try, you should and you can. Run the installer up to this point, and in, at this point, you select the named instance and give it a name to your instance. So we are keeping the default instance name. Use this SQL Server as standalone. This is what precisely we want. This is Polybase. Java installation, obviously install that. Next, server configuration. This is service accounts and collation. So service account, these are default. Uh, if you want different passwords for all of them, you can keep that. Otherwise, uh, you will keep a single password and we don't have to specify that. Collation also can be changed at this point. Character set and collation. Now, here is uh, you need to understand and you need to uh, spend some extra time. We are going to select mix mode. Why? Because when we select mix mode, we will be able to authenticate using SQL Server also. And we will be able to authenticate using Windows user ID password also. Mix mode gives you, you can change this authentication later on. It is, as I said, it is complex. It is not as simple as Oracle or MySQL. It is different. Tomorrow we are going to spend a lot of time in this installation uh, on this uh, authentication method. So specify the password and add the current user for Windows. This you will not forget, please. Adding the current user is mandatory and this will use OPC user which will make it a SQL Server Administrator, the OPC user will be Windows authentication. So when I logged in as OPC user, I will be able to directly start my SQL Server. I don't need password. However, for programming purpose, for any other connection, if I have to use SQL authentication method, I have to supply the password which I'm using here. Similarly, data directories, you can decide where the data will be available. You can decide the directory, you can choose different directory if you want shared database directory, a system database directory, user database directory, you can keep them separate. User database log directory and backup, where the backup will be placed. Then temp db size and uh, space, number of files, initial size, 
we will discuss the temp db and the importance and use of temp db right now uh, think of them as a temporary placeholder that require where you need your intermediate data for sorting for joining for complex calculations then similarly memory also file stream also we'll discuss this is additional new feature enable file stream by default because we have this in our agenda in our training and we have a session on file stream i would like to uh, enable it but in the lab assignment you may not find it enabled you may find it disabled and in fact you may find that is not even referred and therefore this step is something extra which is not then in the lab enable file stream what is the purpose what is the use what are the advantages obviously we will discuss uh, in detail with examples enable file stream for file io access and windows shared name will be ms sql server even if you want to allow remote clients access to file stream data you have to you can click on this checkbox memory settings recommended default settings so these are the uh, setting where you are talking about the configuration this configuration can be changed with a very good tool extraordinary tool very powerful tool post installation also and we'll come back to the same tool to discuss these features in the post installation task so this is during installation we are selecting it next so specify the ports then this is the integration services all are default so far this is distributed relay controller add current user so wherever you see this adding current user because that will give you right to the current user because we are using windows authentication then distributed replay client this is what it is nothing else and install that's it so it is going to be very smooth after this uh, so it will finish that and you'll get a message finished installing sql server 2019 agenda is one point install sql server 2019 on windows server 2019 or windows 11 i did both without any problem so you start your free trial visit this page and click on free trial and if, in fact uh, i took you to this page and we selected this option sql server on premises sql server 2000 trial download page you it will take you to this url click on continue it will present a form to fill in your details you have seen that uh, in my linux setup when i was demonstrating inside the oracle linux 8 machine so here you have to select on exe the moment you click on continue it will take you to this form it is actually extension of the same form so when you click on continue from this point it will download a small file download media custom or basic what type of installation you want to do based on that it will uh, download the media file so this media you click on download media it will this is actually the media downloader this is not the media itself interestingly this is not the media itself this is a media downloader so the media downloader exe file will be downloaded it will be saved in your download folder double click on this folder that is sql server 2019 sse evaluation it will show you three options and click on the download media and this file will be available for download once the media is downloaded that media download will ask you uh, where you want to download it evaluation edition language this is 1.3 gb nearly size if you look at and it will be downloaded into your download folder so once it is downloaded you extract this file this is where i handed over the machine to you this folder was available on your desktop and this is from where we started the installation so i double click on the setup uh, this file setup.exe so you have to do the same and this was the second screen where we have planning installation maintenance so installation is what we have to select what all other options we have here planning for sql server documentation release notes upgrade documentation also if you want to check you can refer to this installation 
install sigma server services on standalone and cluster instances install microsoft sql server reporting services management tools and data tools maintenance addition upgrade repair remove or node from a cluster tools means system configuration checker sql server feature recovery report discovery report microsoft assessment and planning toolkit resources books online license agreements advanced this install microsoft sql server on on the configuration file advanced cluster preparation image preparation and completion of the standalone instance and option optional services specify architecture x86 or x86 64 bit and root directory by the way 32 bit edition is not supported now new sql server so our requirement we selected installation and we selected new server after that this was our first screenshot we entered the primary key uh, this evaluation then license terms accept the license terms and conditions please note message written here that sql server transmission it transmits the information about your installation experience in performance data and performance data to microsoft to help improve the product then update this is the checkbox which was available i left it unselected installation rules was the next screen where our firewall gave us warning rest all were passed so it checks the setting up the rules that might cause issues in the sql server installation we can see warning message for the firewall so click on next to move further then feature selection the same thing happened with me i selected all features to try all options and you can also do the same in worst case you will fail that will also be a learning and then try without python uh, and continue the way i tried then default instance and named instance you can choose to install the default or named instance name in a default instance is already if a default instance is already present on your machine we can only install named instance i am going to show you the named installation also i am going to come back to the installation once my one installation is complete i'll show you one more instance installed though it was not there but i thought that i'll demonstrate it provide an appropriate name for the named instance if you are giving named you have to use named default will not be available after one instance is available polybase configuration and java the polybase connector is much marketed feature for allowing native connectors to external data sources even non microsoft or non relational database platforms like oracle teradata mongodb cloudera or apache hadoop then service accounts and collation there are two tabs one is for service account second is for collation on the server configuration page you can specify service accounts to use for my sql server services along with the collation keep default service accounts and collation we can change this accounts later also from sql server configuration manager which we will discuss tomorrow the first lecture to change the collation click on collation and choose the required collation instance collation actually is what collation determines how character data is stored sorted and compared how it happens those who are not aware i am sure you guys are uh, dbs so i am sure you know it is actually based on the byte order uh, how the data is stored in multi byte characters multi byte data little endian and big endian these are two factors which decide the collation based on that we have different you know same character set representing or not able to sort or comparing because collision decide the order and therefore collision play a very important role in uh, storing sorting and comparing in even in the performance the server collision you set here act as the collision for all system databases as well as the default for any newly created user database in sql server 2019 and for new application development you may choose to take advantage of the new support for utfa collision 
as the server default. Then database engine configuration, which is a mix mode, where we have a file stream, file stream, data directories, temp DB, max, DOP, memory configuration, and authentication methods, and adding the default current user. Don't forget to add this. Then analysis and integration services. Then integration services scale out configuration. Distributed replay controller and the client. Add the current user. These are very advanced feature uh, analysis services, integration services is similar to Oracle Integration Cloud. All these uh, features are uh, right from beginning. Earlier it was data transformation services. I recollected uh, when I delivered the SQL Server initially, initial days, there was a separate independent service with the name data transformation services for importing and, in, importing and exporting. The way we have data pump in Oracle, Oracle data pump. Then Microsoft R open and Python acceptance. Ready to install. We will give you the summary and installation progress was what was happening in our case. Now the SQL Server Management Studio also needs to be installed. So download it. The link is available here in the presentation itself. You can download. This is the screen grab from the link. So download from here, download the exe file and run the installation. It will not ask anything, only uh, default one dialog box, the one screenshot, that's it. And then click on install, it will be smooth installation. This management studio is your graphical interface for managing SQL Server instances, databases, objects, security, everything from one console. Very, very powerful. GUI based feature. It is uh, something similar to your web logic, I can say that. But web logic is very general uh, for any other type of application. But within the scope of database, if you refer, then this is the answer. So these are the screenshots of this installation of this management studio. And it may ask you to restart the machine. Once the machine is restarted, you will be able to connect. Start. SQL Server Management Studio and connect. So Windows icon, Management Studio, and then connect uh, from here, Management Studio. There are other tools as well, you can see. So verify your product. There are a few queries you can try. Once you are connected to the Management Studio, you will launch new query window. It will open a new query window and here, you will manage everything. This is your instance, databases, security, objects, replication, polybase, always on, management, everything available here only. And rest five days, rest four days, we are going to spend on these topics only. So select server property edition, product version, and then product level. So this is your edition, this is your product version, and this is your product level. That's all for this session. Let's see what is the status of our installation? I'm sure by now it is complete. And let's go to the machine now. Yes, the installation is successful as I was talking about. Let's go to the browser. In fact, there we can find out here data tools here itself. And it will take me to the same place. Management Studio. This browser is no more supported, no problem. But our focus is Management Studio. Do we have that here? Data tools. Come on, let's type that. So this is what I'm trying to download, Management Studio. And this is the link. It's not a big software, it's a small software. Save it. So this is a SQL Server Management Studio setup. Simple download file and one or two questions it will ask you. Run the setup. Yes, so it is asking me to restart. 